Alright, so let's start with something different. Um, so uh, that was my demonstration file, and and there was a uh, some sort of templates. Uh, actually, I wanna wait, wait. Actually, this is uh, gonna open these two files. Hmm. Not just do this, and um, as long as you get uh, familiar with the templates, you can add some new fu uh, new functions. Uh, for example, I'm gonna. Uh, this is just what the application look like. So you create a. Uh, uh, actually, this is uh, something called um, uh, uh, the admin function is is the plot of this plot. So the this plot is something you render. Uh, with mm, the render plot function, so there are render table function, render plot function, and for output, so X is, uh, as you see, it is using the the faithful data as as a as an uh, as an example, and you could use other uh, data, you could use other functions. Or you could load a function before running the application and load the function into it. Uh, for example, I'm gonna just do a little bit of demo demonstration. Let's go for that. Uh, close it. Hmm. Select input. Go data. Mm. Choose. Yeah. Data set. Choose. Yeah. Uh, just referring to the document. Set input. Actually, if you want to get access to more, um, these more of these examples, it's, it's it's usually a good idea to um, look at the tutorials uh, on this uh, on this page, and it gets whole lots of things. Uh, yes. So. Pretty, pretty useful, isn't it? Uh, you get a what was it? Sidebar. Well, where did I put it? I'll put this slot. So I'm gonna add another input. So let input. And this is your input ID, which is the uh, which is the name of the variable. <coughs> for example, data. And your label. For example, I go choose data set. And uh, there, uh, select the no select. Mm. And actually, this you could uh, easily use choices, uh, set choices equal to something, and and this uh, this work by using uh, using vectors. Uh, uh, Select input, and it's a good idea. It's, it's a good idea to uh, use new line with uh, each new input, so that always reminds you putting a, a column uh, here. So, uh, sorry, a comma here. Hmm. Very good English. Choices. 
So I set equals to. So what is the type of data of of this thing? What we're using is the faithful. Faithful. What is it? Uh, if you want to get a sense that all the data here, you just use data bracket. Um, so yeah. Mm. Well, yes. It's not. Uh, it's just a kind of frequency of a spring, I guess. Oh yeah, eruptions. Waiting time. And you could put some similar uh, data sets to it. For example, we got some. This is probably the most commonly used example for empty cars. Let's just do that. Mm. Close virus. Right. Uh, you could put factors here, like the whole data set, or you could put something like um, something like a text. So, but if you're using that data set, make sure that you load the data set before you run it, or is, or it is fine if the data set is within the it's, it's provided with the base R. All right. So, I'm gonna just gonna change something. So the format of uh, input is just input dollar sign something, right? So input something data. We have data. Mm. You know, it, it might it, it might not work perfectly with any of the. Um, Data sets. What's going on? Error sourcing is so it's telling me that this doesn't have a comma here. Right. Yeah, so choose. Oh, I can't trust data like, like that because uh, whenever you put a whole data set in it, uh, it's gonna give you this. So you must use uh, something atomic. Uh, okay. Right. So I'm gonna change it. This and and you're gonna get those things because they are text input. Right. There we go. Yeah, and cars. Well, number of things doesn't work well with this data set, probably because of the formatting. Actually, if you look at the Format of running cars, more sorry, more cars, more cars. Is it? It's it's um. I mean the the type of the uh, the format of the data set, the, the class it, it defines uh, each rows and column are significantly different, and that's usually why the visualization doesn't always apply. Uh, the same model doesn't it uh, doesn't apply with any of these, and this because you get different species, probably they're going to have the different main or variants here. So, well actually that fits really good. I mean, if you look at it like, like something called a bell curve. But anyway, that's just a, a demonstration of adding, modifying your function or adding an, another input here. So, yeah.